Hi, welcome back to Repairing Lawnmowers for Profit. Today we're going to be picking up a McCulloch petrol lawnmower for £20. And best of all, me and my brother are going to get the profit. Okay, we're just going to get the seats down so we can get our lawnmower in the back. And off we go! Wow, there's not a lot of traffic today. Just filled the car up and we've stopped some donuts and a lottery ticket. I've also got some cash out to pay for this lawnmower. We've just picked it up but we're a little disappointed because the self-drive I don't think works. The lady said that the self-drive doesn't seem to work very well. Right, let's get this in the mobile. Hi, so we're back off holiday. We've just um, had a fantastic time in Florida for the last few weeks. We've been there nearly three weeks, but I'm back now and these lads want to make themselves some pocket money. So as you've seen, David's been out in the mobile and picked himself this McCulloch lawnmower for just £20, which is an absolute bargain. But unfortunately, I get this a lot now. People kind of lie, you know. £20, she said, it all works fine, but I've just looked at it now. The self-drive doesn't look like it's going to work. The, the cable just feels all slack. She said it didn't work. And also, we have a problem with the governor springs. They're all missing off as well. So I've not tried to start this up, but I'm just going to get your brother to come out and hose pipe this off. Cause let's go and take a look over here at this, David. Look at the mess here. Look at all this dirt and mess in here. I've paid twenty pounds for this. I think we could probably sell this with somewhere between eighty and a hundred pounds. But the problem is, I'm going to have to try and get this paint off here. Actually, that looks like it might scrape off. Can you see that? Yeah. Looks like they bought it from an auction to try and fix this up. And and um, obviously I haven't got it working properly so this is our lawnmower but potentially we've got a Briggs & Stratton 500 series with a self drive um, if we can sell it I reckon we can clear £80 profit at least £70 profit on this lawnmower and maybe even a little bit more depending on how good we can get this to look so you and your brother are going to fix this up and whatever profit you make from this this summer is going in your piggy banks oh yeah I want that. Right, so I've got my other handy helper. You want to make some pocket money as well, don't you? So are you going to clean this? Are you going to clean all this mess off this lawnmower? Yeah. And try and get that number 36 off so it doesn't look like Herbie. Right, mister. Turn that one on then. I'm not doing it. I'm on holiday still. I'm still in holiday mode. Right, Jack. Twizzly thing. The red thing. Twizzle. Spin it. Go on. Go on. Turn it. If they are a bit more. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep going. Keep going. Right, blast it all off. Get all them bits off for me. Okay, all nice and clean. There you go. That's it. We want all these bits out the back, don't we? How do you look? All that in there. And all this. Because it smells a bit funny as well, almost like cat wee. So we'll get it all cleaned up. Don't forget the grass box as well. Oh, this is filthy. Look at that. Ah, didn't mean now. <laughs> right, we're just trying to get this number 36 off. It's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Sunglasses are coming off. You've got an aren't you? Are you coming off? Yeah. All oh, right, yeah. Go for the big bit, see if you can get a big bit off. Oh, that looks like that's coming off a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. That's it. It's coming off, isn't it? A bit at a time. I wonder why someone would paint that. It's ever been at an auction or something. Hey, where? Hey, where? Can So we've had a bit of a go at that, haven't we? We just need to get this off here. I don't want to scratch too much. Let's see what we can find to bring it off. I don't know why, I just use a bit of carb spray on here. It's only plastic, this deck, anyway. The front of it's plastic. This is a plastic cover. And it's actually a, a metal deck. So let's spray it up with a bit of that. Just see if you'll te take it off a little bit. I'm not sure if it will or not, to be honest. How's it going, mate? Mm. Yeah, keep growing, keep rubbing. It's coming off. Go on, give Thank it a good scrub and it'll come off all that. We'll get that off. It'll be like new, this one. <laughs> By the time we're finished with it, this. So we've got that off, haven't we, mate? Let's have a look at your cool sunglasses. No. You're wrong. We've got that off there. And what about this? Who did this grass box? 
yeah we've got all that off so what we'll do now is just check this blades on right and this governor spring I can see I can't really show you until I set this air filter box it's all a mess but I'm going to start this up and I'm going to see exactly what this lawnmower was running like when she actually told me it was running okay and sold me it so let's fire this lawnmower up and see well if it runs and if it does how it runs and if this self drive even works I need a flat headed screwdriver what have we got on today Iron Man? come on Iron Man right let's have a look here does that look right one? Just to me. Right, you hold that, hold it by the end, like that, so you can't fall over with it. Off you go. Right, you need to take the air filter off. Where's the air filter? Where do you think it is? Point? That's right, unscrew that for me then. I'm going to take this air filter box off. I'm going to show um, all my 8,000 subscribers, Jack, where the air filter is and where these governor springs are on this lawnmower. Let me have a look with you. Is it a bit stiff? Let me get it going. There you are. You undo that and I'll show everybody um, what we've got and what a mess it's in. Um, massive thanks as well, just passed over 8,000 subscribers which is just unbelievable. I mean, I'm only in my garden most of the time doing these sort of same sort of things really but I really do appreciate that, it's uh, it's great. I, I've been back a full day a few days now but I haven't actually filmed because this video camera I'm using now actually broke when I was away, the actual shutter went open. So I've been looking at um, maybe getting a GoPro or something like that so let me know in the comments section if you think these videos would be better if I kind of had a GoPro and it was like, you know, on my head and you could see what I was doing a little bit clearer, but leave me a comment in the comments section. That off there, that's right. I'm going to have to lift this air filter up. Sneak it off there, look like that. Watch out. Right, look. Look at these springs here, look. See this spring? Yeah. Let me go around this side and show everybody. So as you can see, um, another classic case of these governor springs, actually a full spring that should go across to here that's completely missing so I can't see this running very well while we're here let's just check out this um, primer bulb if you press this you should be able to see the fuel jump across see there that's all working okay so let's start this lawnmower up let's just see exactly what it does run like right let's give this a go just tighten this handle up here it's really slack at the bottom I don't think the self drive is going to work and I don't think it's going to run evenly so let's try it let's give this a go let's see what we get We're going to make much money out of this, are we? No, what do you think of that? Not so far. That, well, how can you sell that to somebody and say you've been using it and it all works all right? I know, and it's well, not. It doesn't well. work all right, does it, Jack? It's clear it does. Yeah. No, what's wrong with it? What's, was it running fast or slow? Fast. Too fast. So what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to get some governor springs. And we're going to have to put it on this carburetor. Now, luckily, I've got that carburetor set up so I could sneak some off mine. But I think on this occasion, I know I ain't got any left. I'm going to order some governor springs for this. And we'll put these springs on. I don't think that there'll be too much wrong with it. It certainly uh, was running too fast to rev up and down anyway. Right, so we're going to strip this down. This is running far too fast because of these springs. I'm going to play about, but I'm not convinced that everything's all right inside here. So before you will start having to play about with this, I'm just going to set this spark plug out. And you're going to strip down all these bits out here at the top. Yep. I'm going to clean it all out. We're going to service this one up properly out there. Yeah, Get all the old things, all the old dirt out of it and everything inside. It could even be, the plug looks nice and clean, could even be that the governor flap snapped inside, it ain't even moving about at all, because it really is running flat out even if I alter it. So let's have a, a play about and we'll get you lads stripping these covers down while I sit and watch oh, the sunbathe yeah. in the garden. What have you got there? What size? A uh, quarter. A quarter inch, yeah. What we're going to do is we're going to take the, oh, well, you are. You're going to take these covers off here for me, aren't we? And I'll look in here. Is that the right one? Uh, does it fit? Yep, it does. Oh, that's a good guess. Are you strong enough? Yeah. Oh good, that's good. I would have, could have got that spanner there, couldn't we? We're going to take that off, we'll take this recoil cover off. We'll have a look at what's going on, make sure there's nothing else going wrong inside. Right, can you go get me a magnetic tray with me? In the garage, on the bench. Uh, yeah, do the next one then. On the tray, there's a magnetic tray on the bench. I'll come with you. Go on then. See if you can see it. No, is that magnetic? That's it, that's the one. You bring that back with you. Dave's going to use that tray to put these parts in so we don't lose anything. Where is it? He's going to bring it back now. Alright. Yeah, you have to make your money. I'm not doing it for you. Can we do this? Got them both off? Uh, yeah. Right, see if you can lift that cover off then. Does it come off? No, it doesn't. It don't come off? I think that's something else at the front. Oh, right at the front is there somewhere. So this is one under here. That's a bit of a pull up. I wonder where that one might be then. There we are, it's just clipped on like that, look how can oh. that. 
That wants to go back through that hole. Can you push that through that hole? Right, this one. Back. Yep, Jack, you can finish charge your parts. Do you want to put your grass box with it as well? Mm. Right then, so we've got that off. Now what I'll need is I'll need a socket. You probably need that one, David. Try that one. Oh, where's the other one you have? Oh, what? Where's the other one? That one? Yeah, with a 10 mil, you need a 10 mil uh, socket on the end, David. This one. That one. Connect it up then. So to take this recoil cover off, I'm going to put that on there. And we're just going to undo these three parts, aren't we? We'll take it up to the top, look like that. And you have to flick this over, so it undoes, so that's backwards, then pull it. Push it down to all, oh, that's it. And you keep going around with that one. We'll take these off, can't we? Try and keep it on as you're doing it. Move your fingers a little bit. That's it. We'll get that all off there, everything right off. I'll help you a little bit. That's right, you pull. That's it, keep going. Let's go around here a little bit. Right, go. Pull, all the way to you, up a bit. That's it, go on. That's it, and then back again, backwards down. And then up. That's it, keep going. All right, you do it then. We'll take them off. Yeah, it's all coming off. That exhaust guard will come off as well, hopefully, won't it? At the back. We can lift that whole thing off and we can clean out all this um, under this recoil. We can clean it all out, all the debris, can't we, with the compressor and make it nice and clean and tidy. We're going to have a look at this kill switch at the back as well to make sure there's no problems with that. Mm -hmm. That's it. Is it not loose enough to get with your fingers? Yay! Put it in the tray, magnetic tray. Throw it in. Yes. What? Just one more to do, isn't there, that you're going to do, aren't you? And that's that one there. See if you can get in, it might be a little bit awkward. Yeah, that's right, and then push it down to undo it. That's it. Yeah, but you're at the other side now, aren't you? That's it. Is it tough? Do you want me to start it? On my fingers. Is that a bit easier with that one? Yeah. A lot of work going on next door, isn't it? They're just, the chimney's just gone. I've got rid of the chimney. Don't know if Father Christmas is going to get in, do you? Mm -hmm. Maybe you won't go there. Maybe we'll get extra. What do you think? Yeah. Do you think he'll come this year? Well, I think I hope so. I'm relying on him. Mm. You can just do that, yeah, whatever's easiest, mate. Whatever, whichever way you find is best to do it, you do it. Once you've got it slack, if you want to do it like that. Oh, see if your fingers are strong enough. That's it. I'm going to put that in your tray. Right, Jack, stand up then and you can pull this whole thing off here, can't you? Right, can you lift this whole thing off here? Can you pull all that whole thing off? David, you grab it as well. Go on, get your fingers on. Go on, pull it, Jack. Lift it up. That's it. Move that to the side. Put it on the grass for me. Oh, your parts over there. That's right. Right, now we can get in here. Look at the mess in here. Look. So, we've got inside here, as you can see, inside this starter cup's a real mess as well. And there's just loads of dirt and debris around here. So, I'm just going to blow all this off with the compressor. Um, I'll do that. I don't really want you lads doing that. But you can make sure it's all clean and tidy. You lads can remove this cover for this kill switch and we'll clean that off as well. But well, at least I can see there's nothing obstructing this governor flop assembly, nothing making it run f at full speed. Mm. <laughs> you need to get a quarter inch socket. Can you see one that says a quarter on here for me? Look, what about all these? Which one says a quarter? A quarter. Well, yes. well, that that says uh, three eighths. One and a one and a line and a four. Can you see that one? Correct. Right, stick it on the end of here. Oh, I don't know what size I've got on this one. 7 mil, that might work anyway. Right, pop it on the end of there. Is that the right one? Mm. Mm. That's right, right, you can go around there. You like to go on the mat? I like going on the mat, don't you? You can undo this for me. This is a kill switch cover for anybody who hasn't seen my videos before. And what we're going to do with this is we're going to undo this cover and we're going to just check this kill switch because if this isn't functioning properly you won't get any spark, it just stops the spark going through. So you can get your hands on there and you have to be quite strong and try and undo it for me. Other way mate. Where's this one? No it's not, right for tight, left for loose, that's it. And you can take that cover off for me can't you? And then we'll clean all this out and we'll go and order some governor springs. I've actually just updated the website once again. I've got a, a quite a large online parts store on there with lots of genuine spares as well. Things like governor springs and um, diaphragm and gaskets. So if you look at repair law most for profit, you'll find everything you need there. I'll put it with your other parts. So I'm actually going to uh, probably just go on my own website, if I'm honest. I'm going to order some springs from there. Um, I've got loads of diaphragm and gaskets, but you see here David, how much dirt's in here. If this isn't clean, when you pull this lever, I've shown this loads of times, if this doesn't disengage here, your lawnmower won't start, David, and of course in reverse as well, it won't stop, so I'm just going to clean all this out, as I've said before, we'll make all this clean and tidy, look at all the mess in here, look, look at that, 
You don't want all this getting in like that, so let's get rid of all that. Make it nice and clean and tidy. We'll do a proper service on this lawnmower. Right, what are you doing? Right, we're we'll cleaning this off. I've blown it off for you with the compressors. I didn't want you using that. And you've got this oil extractor set up, haven't you? Yep. Are you going to try that then and see if we can get this oil out of here? The reason I want to get this oil out of here is because I'm going to need to tip this up because um, apparently the self drive wasn't working. I couldn't really test it because it was running too fast. But um, I've blown all this out with the compressor. I might take this carbon tank off and just blow it in there, but it looks pretty clean. But the thing is, what did you say about the drive, Dave? If, if we, oh, the yeah. drive didn't work, if we moved it onto this back one, yeah. so this here. This cable's hardly moving at all. I'm sure if you can see there. It was actually in the, the centre circle there, so we moved it back a bit. And there is a little bit more movement on the cable, but not much, but it might be enough to activate the, the self-drive. The lady said it wasn't working, so we'll get this oil out of here. And I might just drain the oil out of this petrol tank, just so I can tip this up, or even uh, nearly over, just to get on right underneath it. So we're going to take the belt guard off this, aren't we? Yep. Um, we're going to have a look and sharpen the blade while we're under there as well. Right, you can stop pumping that. I think that'll be coming out now. Alright, should be coming, all be coming up. There we are. Got that coming up there nice, haven't you? Yep. We'll just use what we use here, football, to just fill it back a bit. I find doing that just helps, it just puts the oil to the back, actually where the uh, extractor hose goes in, just helps get a bit more out. Ideally you should do this when it's warm, of course. Give it another pump, mate. Alright. This is this little Rockwood extractor. I've used this, I don't know, probably 50, 60 times I would have said now. I'm no bother with that at all. It's been every bit as good as that Peeler one, or Pella one I've got as well, to be honest. So it has uh, lasted all right. It's been pretty good for about, I don't know, I think about £10. So, we're just about there with that, aren't we? Yep. So what do you want to do now then? Drain this fuel out before we tip it over? Yep. So I'll put all that in there and you pump it out then. Yeah, we'll just drain that out. So when we tip this over, it just saves it all going right through the engine out the other side and everything. Ooh. We'll clean that out. Make sure there's no dirt in the bottom of that tank. That should do you mate. That'll do. I Ooh. think that's just about empty. Look how quick it is to do with one of these extractors. So simple. It's a great little tool to have is that extractor. I've used that an awful lot. Is it going on? Yep, I think so. Ooh. Get them back in, don't we? Always make sure, by the way, when you put this exhaust bump back on the hose that holds this exhaust guard on, it's actually got this like shroud on the outside of it. This one's slightly wider and that's designed to actually go through this exhaust guard and back through this recoil cover. So, you know, don't just put a normal one in if you can help it. Actually put the right part back in there. Always makes a bit of a difference because these can vibrate loose if they don't go far enough in as well. I'm just going to clean this bolt up a bit before I attempt to remove it. What have you got on there? It's a bit of WD, you know, you don't need it on there. It's on the bolt. That's it. And what you're going to do with this wire brush, you're going to give it a brush with that? Yep. This is just to stop it all rounding off, isn't it? If you've not got a decent tool, you're just going to try and use a socket on there or a spanner, it can round off easy. Just go over the top of that with it. That's it. That's right. If you clean it off like that, it'll give you a much better chance of getting this off if you've only got a, just a normal socket set like I've got there. But if you've got an impact tool, it'll come off. But I always just like to do that anyway. So if you round these off, it's going to be a big problem for you. And the reason you're doing this is because we need to take this off. We want to check there's yep. actually a, a belt on there, don't we? Yep. And we'll have to clean out all this mess that's in under here as well. Because this could just be obstructing this uh, actual box working as well. So we need to have a real good look in there, just see what's going on. So I'm still in the process of trying to get these bolts off using this Ryo, but this is just a little battery impact I've got. I've actually got a Clark on in the garage as well. But this one, sometimes is successful and sometimes isn't. So let's give it a try anyway. to get the Clark one and just looked on there should really be using an impact socket as well so I'll get the electric one out we'll plug that in and we'll get that bolt off with that right so I've got this Clark impact in fact I'll put a link to both of these this Ryobi and this Clark in the description of this video this doesn't have adjustable speed this one but it's, it's never failed to undo any of these I'm using an impact socket now which I should have done before as well you can see the difference there that's come off in seconds that could have taken you just kind of all morning to do it used to do, for me it used to take me about an hour sometimes to get them off. So having the right tool really does help. And these pins are all intact. This blade needs to sit back on these pins like that, which is done. So let's get that off. Then we're going to have to clean up round here and try and get this cover off. Is it coming off then? You're trying to get the belt cover off, aren't you? 
Yep. What size did you get in the end? What size was that? Uh, 5 16 yep, was it? 5 16 That's coming off and you can, there's one at the other side as well, isn't there? Yep, there is. You're going to lie down and try and get the other side. Is your, your hip all right? Yes, I You fell off climbing frame or whatever you did. You hurt yourself, didn't you? Hello. Go on then, try and get that other one under there unless you want me to help you because you're oh, hurting really? a bit. Oh, wow. yeah, can you see that? Are you alright to get that? Yeah, I'm alright. Yeah, right. Is it that's a bit wrong way, that? Is it, is it coming off? I think it is. Yep. That's it. We'll take that off then, can't we? That belt guard might just drop off, might it? So we're just cleaning this off here, and I've cleaned all this debris off around here. And I wanted to just show you something. This, Shall you clean this off? Because I yep. just asked you to clean it. You were doing a good job. You noticed You noticed that this actually had another yeah. bolt in here, didn't you? But we didn't take out, we only took these two out if you remember, the ones that were sunk in here. But because we cleaned these parts off, or in the process of cleaning it off, you've noticed that this one's here. Now, if you look here where this cover goes, you can see there, the two that we took off are this part here, and this one at the bottom here, but there's also one that goes here. Now the problem that had happened with this, I think, is why the drive wouldn't work, is because this part here has been incorrectly fitted and pushed through the guard and it hadn't even gone in this hole here and what it's done is it's bent this this is like a tab and if you get something behind it you can actually bend this around but this is bent so far up it's actually pressing against this actual drive at the back so what i've done is i've just got a screwdriver and i've just bent this back down a bit like this i've just pulled it back down i can't really do it just as i'm under it at the minute but Basically, I've just bent it back down, so I think what's happened is at some point somebody's taken this belt guard off Maybe to just, I don't know, maybe see where the drive wasn't working or whatever And when they've put it back, they've obviously just not got it back right And it's actually bent this whole part up and it's pressed against the drive So if you go press that lever for the drive, David right If you actually activate that again for me The whole thing moves, you can see the transmission box moves, can't you let go again? So the whole thing's working and it goes nice and tight, try again I don't see why that shouldn't work. It's all let go. You just try and turn that by hand. Have you got hold of it? I'll let go. Yeah, it's let go. Yeah. yeah. Can't do that at the minute. But you can actually do this if you tip it upside down by moving this wheel, which is the gear turn, just to make sure that this works. But everything's free now, and it's all spinning. But this wasn't actually spinning before. That wasn't actually moving like that. Not as easy as that. Just activate that lever again, mate. And that's nice and tight there, so that should pull the drive. So I'm happy with that, but what I've got to do is I've got to get this part out of here. And I've got to maybe fit a washer on here or something. I've got to make sure that this actually goes back through this hole when I refit this cover. So this is going to be your job, isn't it? Yeah. All right. Yep. So you're going to find the right one out here that matches up. That part, we've got it out, it's knocked it out with a hammer. It's all sort of rounded off and everything. It's a bit yeah. of a mess, isn't it? Let's have a look at that there. So we're going to try and find an equivalent one in here. You're going to sort through there, aren't you? Yep. And we'll find something that looks like we can actually get it on. Maybe if we need to get it off again. So you see what you can find in there. And I'm going to sharpen this blade up for you two lads. Um, and then we'll put this blade back on and all this belt guard cover. And that's the underside of it done. I'm just going to wire brush the rest of this off underneath here as well. Just a little bit of a mess. They did what? They probably gave it away because the self drive didn't work. Yeah, I know they probably did. The self drive isn't working on this mower. We've tried it and the cable moves a bit. But we just, you know, we don't think it's going to work, but these self-drive boxes sometimes, you go the wrong way with that, mate. Uh, the self-drive boxes sometimes break in here. So while I've got this upside down, this is the reason I take all the fluids out of these lawnmowers. While I've got it upside down, I'm going to open this actual box up here. I've actually done a full video on um, these self-drives. Let go of that. Next one. Thanks. And then uh, I'll link to that in the top right hand corner now, there's a real detailed video about all this. In fact there's a couple, every sort of, looking about 20 seconds time there'll be another one as well in the top right hand corner. But I'm going to take this off, I'm going to show you in here, and there's probably a, a metal gear that runs against the plastic worm gear. And what happens over time generally is that they actually wear out, the actual metal wears out the plastic gear. So let's take a look inside here. And in worst case scenario we'll just take this belt off and we'll just have to sell this as a push mower which is annoying because we're doing this for you lads to make a bit of profit for yourselves. And that'll uh, lose a bit of profit, won't it? But we're not giving up that easy, are we, Jack? No. You're doing a good job of getting these off, aren't you? Mm. You're strong, lad, aren't you? Mm. Right, so we're just taking all these screws out of here and we're just going to take this actual cover off here. I just want to have a look inside here. I've done this before in a few videos, but I just want to see exactly what's going on. Come here, David, and film in here. Yep. See all this lot here? This has to link together. 
So I'll take that camera off you. And you've gone pull a lever. Let's see, see exactly what's going on with this. Black lever. Yeah, you pull that black lever. That should activate this. Yeah, pulled it. Nothing there, is there? Nothing at all. Don't pull it far enough, does it? No. You see, all this has fallen off. In fact, it's all broken inside of here as well. And this is all dropping off. It's just a bit of a mess. Let go for me. Probably okay. because we pull the lever without actually doing that. Pull it again. Yes, I can feel it on my fingers pulling. Let go. But nothing actually activates, does it? Oh, it's not pulling it. Yeah, let, no, don't do it again. Let go. Right. So when you pull it up like that. But all this should activate, this should pu pull across far enough to activate. And it might just be that all this plastic's just actually worn, actually worn out. And see these little plastic parts, that bit connects there. But these two don't seem to want to connect at all. Everything seems just to be a bit of a mess. If you've got a mower with a self-drive that don't work, it's very rare without changing all this box over that you're going to ever get it working again. But I wanted to show inside this box, I've done it on some other videos. And what happens a lot of the time is this part here, this is a metal gear here, the worm gear, the metal gear, and it actually runs against this plastic gear here. And these over time just get worn out and they just wear away to the point where they don't contact enough. So you pull that lever again for me. Uh, to the odds then? Yeah, let's just do it. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure it's connecting right. Nothing's turning at all, you see. It should, it should all press against each other and actually turn. In fact, there's a pin in there that's just fallen out as well. So, I'm getting in a real mess with this mower, so this is just going to have to come off. This is just going to have to be a push mower, but this is just to show you, really, inside this transmission box and why it doesn't work. I could play about with this forever and still not get it working, so I'm going to cut my losses with this. I'll put it back together, I'm just going to take the belt off, I'll probably take the cable and the handle off and we'll just sell this as a push mower. So we've just had a dig around in here and we've actually just found out that some of these parts inside here have actually broken, which is why the drive don't work at all. So this drive is properly, properly broken, it's not going to get repaired, it's certainly not worth spending the money to replace it. So all I'm going to do to help you lads out is I'm going to put that back on there, I'll take this belt off, I'll take all this belt off here and we'll just Put this back together make sure nothing's connected. We'll probably take the cable off and the handle and unfortunately we'll lose a bit of profit on that so that's not very good is it for you? I know. But um, so a bit disappointed about that aren't we but we'll put it back together and we'll just make sure that it has, has to actually be sold as a just as a push mower. But at least you've had a good look in there and you can see exactly yeah. what's in there and you can't do it to do this without taking all the fluids out of the lawnmower either. Right this is uh, turned into a job you might see here I've just taken this cable off I'm actually taking that top handle off and the cable off. To be honest with you, I'm just a bit disappointed because I really wanted to do this with kids and you know try and make them some money as well. But what I've had to do is I've actually because I opened the box up and it wasn't easy to get back together. I've actually taken this box off and cut this metal out here. These gears aren't touching anything, but I've sharpened this blade up here and everything's nice and even. I've just wire brushed off underneath. It's not 100% perfect, but that's where we're at. But the problem with that is, which has really annoyed me, because when people sell stuff, they just sell it. They don't sell you it, it don't work until you get home. And it's, it's a bit unfair, I think, but um, you get that. Sometimes I have a great sale for not doing much work, but I'm just a bit annoyed because I want me to uh, try and get them a bit of profit as well. But hopefully we'll still turn a profit on this. Uh, I've got some governor springs coming. They've cost me about £3, I think it was. So I probably spent £23, but it's the time it's taken me to take that off. And just disappointed, really, that um, I'm not going to get maximum profit for it. But we've uh, we've got the cable off, and we'll just put it into a push mower, and we'll see what we can get for it. We'll get the, these springs back on. Hopefully this uh, carb doesn't need servicing up. And I think with a bit of a tidy on, uh, tidy up with this, with this box on as well, I think we should still... You know, go for around 50 60 pounds for this and try and make sort of 20 30 pounds profit if we can. As I say, um, just a bit disappointed, but all I've done really is pull the cable out through there, take the box off, and then I've unclipped all this. I need to clip that back down actually with the cable tie. And all this works right, all this kill switch is working all right, and everything like that. But uh, yeah, the, um, it's, you've seen how many I've done of these on this channel where I've you know, I've managed to fix the driver, I've not had a problem with the driver, anything like that. And the first one I, I sort of get the kids to do when they, they have a big problem, so it's a bit disheartening I suppose. But um, I've been out here quite a while taking that off, so I'm just going to tidy these few bits up. We'll wait for these governor springs to come, and we'll give this a real good clean and tidy up. I'm going to put some more fresh oil in this as well, a new plug. Then I can list it, you see, I can list it as serviced. It's had the blade done, the deck's cleaned underneath, it's had a new plug, it's had the oil done. And if I do the carb, I'll, I'll uh, list that as done as well. But I think it'll polish up and clean up quite nice anyway. So when this uh, springs come in the post, I'll pop these on and we'll see what we get. Right, you topping this oil up for me. That's yeah. enough. Let it go down the hole. That's it. 
a little bit at a time. Come on, you can keep going a little bit more. And top this up because we don't need to turn this over again now. So we've done the blade underneath, haven't we? We've sharpened it up. So before we forget, we might as well put this oil in, haven't we? I'm just going to put half a pint of oil in here, aren't we? Let's just tip it in. That looks like a good job, and I'll measure it off for you, make sure it looks alright. Okay, tip your thing back up. Look at this. You can see how clean that is. That's come out really clean, actually. Sometimes it uh, you could take two or three flushes to get these like that, but yeah, that's uh, that's come out really good. We must have extracted a lot of that. This has been tipped up and over and everything as well, so we might get a bit of smoking when we start up. So I'm going to fit this uh, kill switch cover for them. Probably just put this thing, this cover on back on the top of here as well. So while I'm here, might as well put a, a new plug in here as well. And uh, I always list this as well, can't we? It's always nice when you can do a listing and put, it's got a new spark plug in. People seem to really like that. I'm not sure why, but anyway. So I can get that in there. There we go. Just put that in there. I won't connect this up yet, just because I've got to put these governor springs back on. But the uh, oil's done, new plug, blade sharp, tidy underneath. Get these new governor springs on. And it really does want a real good bit of a, a clean and tidy up. There's a couple of bits of paint I might just paint up. So I want to try and kind of clear £40 profit on this if I can, just to give them £20 each, even though uh, I've sort of spent last hour trying to take this drive off. So it's not all about what I can make sometimes, it's about just teaching them a few different skills, because I don't see many kids nowadays that do stuff like this. And maybe don't want them, they're all interested in different things, they understand that, but I think it's important, isn't it, if you can do certain things that you just pass a bit of it on. So I've tried anyway, and I hope they've uh, realised that they can maybe do this for themselves a little bit when they're a bit older. Right, so these governor springs have arrived. I'm going to put these on. I'm just going to take this air filter box off. Put this on. Remember to put some fuel in it and let's see if it runs okay. Then it's uh, fully serviced after that, really. The only other thing I could really do is the pull car, but that's not looking too bad. Right, so I'm just going to hook these springs on here. Try not to do this uh, before on other videos. I actually have a, a video. If you look on the homepage of my YouTube channel, you see how to fit these, but it's, it's pretty simple. The long one goes actually from this hook here all the way across to here. And the short one goes from the hook just to this little tab here so I'm gonna put that on there you just basically hook it around this little loop and then I might just have to get a flat screwdriver and just bend this open a little bit and I'll just put this in here I might just be able to do it with my fingers I might not like that. that's that one on and I'll do the same with this little one put it on this little tab here at the front so I like having to buy these parts because they're not cheap if you ever get an old lawnmower you've been in, make sure you keep the springs. I've said that so many times on so many videos. Because I don't I very rarely have to buy these springs. You can see there, just bend that tab forward a little bit. Everything's sort of bouncing and moving about freely, so if it runs too fast now, I'm gonna have to take this carb apart and just see if anyone's had a mess about with it. So put that box back on there. Put this back in here. I want to get this sold, don't we? And get some profit. I'll put some fuel in this mower. Let's see if it runs okay now. We've got these governor springs fitted. Right, let's give this a go then. It's got some fuel and I've just topped it up. Let's see if it runs. I don't know if it's going to run alright or not, to be honest. I don't see any reason why you want to do. Just serviced. Unless there's something gone wrong in the cab that's making it run flat out, but I can't see that particularly. <laughs> Perfectly working lawnmower, complete with no self-drive. So that's another lawnmower fix there behind me, and that could make uh, probably about 40, 50 pounds profit on that. Now, kids were supposed to be doing this with me, and uh, unfortunately, you probably just saw David sat there. He's uh, 
he's had a couple of days in hospital recently because he fell off something on a school trip and he banged all his sides so he's had all sorts of blood tests and things stuck in his arms and he's had a it's, it's been to be honest it's been a horrible couple of days so i finished that off with him and i'm going to sell it and these lads have helped really uh helped me fix this up so i'm pretty proud of them for that anyway so i'm going to sell it and get as much as i can for them and uh, i'll give them the profit so it just goes to show really that uh, anybody can start this little business so if you haven't done already just check out my website which is repair lawnmowersforprofit.com thanks very much for watching and thanks for being one of my 8,000 plus subscribers. See you next time.